All right, welcome to AMA session number two. And today's question is about my tech stack. So I think this is a pretty timely question because I'm consolidating a lot of softwares right now, actually saving quite a bit of money. And so I wanted to share a tech stack that you can build for less than $50, $50 a month or less, and then also share with you what I'm currently using and currently doing. And this is in the context of if you wanna run a business similar to mine, an email-driven info slash consulting business. So I'm gonna start off with the, the tech stack for less than $50. So you can build it really lean and profitable. And this is something that you can build up to a million dollars plus is using these tools here. And I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing a bit differently and, and why I'm doing that. So let's start off with the, the tech stack here. So. This tool here, it's a new-ish tool, Beehive. And the first thing that you need if you're running an email business is you need some kind of email marketing tool so you can collect emails and send out emails to your list. So I think the reason people like this is it's an email marketing website and landing page software in one. And I think the pricing starts at around, yeah, $39 a month. So you can check out the features. In my opinion, I don't know if you've heard of Substack before, but uh, they kind of model the look of Substack. Uh, they, they just give you a little more customization. So you can check out the features. I don't personally use this, but I know that people love it. And I'll share, I'll share with you what I use instead and why. But this is the first thing that you need is an email marketing tool. And this also has a, a website built into it. So that's the first thing. This is probably the most expensive thing that you're gonna have in this type of business in this type of tech stack. The second thing that you need is a G Suite email, and this is just a branded email. So if my domain is seananthony.co, then my G Suite email might be something like sean at seananthony.co. And the reason you need that is you want a professional email that represents your business. And you also need an email to plug into the software platform like Beehive to send emails from. And you're gonna be doing sales and customer support from your G Suite email as well. So if people respond to your email campaigns or they respond about a product that they bought from you, you're gonna use your, your email obviously to um, both sell and deliver customer support. And G Suite is $6 a month on the basic plan, which I use the, I think it's $12 a month plan, but you can start off for $6 a month and get pretty much all that you need. The other thing that Google is great at is they have a suite of other business tools. You can pretty much run 80% of your business through Google. And so the second thing that I always use is Google Docs. So I use that for my marketing. I use that for sales and I also use it for building product. So this here is an example of product. So I, I built out like a protocol or a field guide that is all within Google Docs and it links out to videos, which is on another platform that I'm gonna share in a second. And I also build out my sales pages mostly in Google, right? So most of my sales pages are on Google Docs and my funnels, I guess. So that's the second or the third thing here is Google Docs. And this is probably the, the tool that I use most in this and it's free. It comes with your G Suite account. Um, I think you can even use Google Docs if you don't have a G Suite account. So it's free regardless. The other thing is Hangouts. So Hangouts is like a Zoom competitor. So if you're already paying $6 a month for G Suite, you can use Hangouts and you can use that for sales. You can use that for your group video calls if you have a client group or customer group. And this is also free. It's bundled in with your, your G Suite and Google Docs. I use Google Drive for storage. So all of my documents, it's all within Google. All of my videos, my, my Google Docs, my Google Sheets, all my tools are uploaded into Drive. I use, or Stripe is one of the payment processes I use. I, al I also still have PayPal, and then I also use uh, TransferWise, or I think they're called Wise now. So Stripe is free to use, but they take a percentage of your payment, so 2.9% plus 30 cents. So I guess you can't technically call it free, but it is free to use. You don't have to pay like a monthly fee to have it. And this is important, this is how you collect payment. YouTube, this is what I use for uploading videos. So I use this for both like these videos, my marketing and sales videos, but also my product videos. So all the live trainings that I do, I upload it to YouTube as unlisted, as private videos, and I link to it in my docs like this, okay? So that is for all my video needs. YouTube is free to use. You can upload everything there. There's no 
there's no like gigabyte limit. You can upload as much as you want and you can make it private. You can make it public. You can use it for your marketing and sales versus product. And as far as customer communication, I use WhatsApp. So I use this for, they actually have a pretty cool feature in there now for groups and communities. So I use WhatsApp both for one-on-one -on -one client communication. And I also use it for uh, my community and groups as well now. So this is a $50 a month or it's actually less than $50 a month tech stack. And you can grow this to a million dollars plus a year. I actually have a client, he's an old school real estate guy and he's gonna be using this tech stack. He's not even gonna be using this. He's actually gonna be using a free email marketing tool, which is this one here, Substack. So my stack is a bit different. I use Kajabi for hosting all of my existing digital products and my website. And the reason why is all my stuff's already on there. I've used Kajabi for years. So my website, my product, my landing pages, and I'm also currently using Active Campaign for my email marketing, but I'm I'm probably gonna be moving everything to Kajabi since I'm already paying for it and Active Campaign is, is pretty expensive. So I am gonna have everything, my website, product, landing pages, and email marketing on Kajabi. And then I have Substack for the Email Rainmaker brand. So this is emailrainmaker.com. This is Substack. It's free to use. You can, they don't have like autoresponder sequences, which is the only um, crappy thing about it. But you can upload all of your, your emails or your content onto Substack. And it's like a website or an archive of all your best stuff. And they also have some pretty cool features that I'm not going to go into right now. But I'm using this as like my content archive or like, my content crock pot where someone can come in, they can go through all my, all my stuff and simmer a bit and decide if they, they wanna work with me in the future. So I'm using this for the Email Rainmaker brand and posting my, my content here as well so it lives forever other than just emails where you send it out and it's done. So that is my tech stack and what's different. So really that's all, it, that's, all that's different is Kajabi and Substack. Everything else here is pretty much the same. I just don't use this. And then I also have a few more payment processors. So this is your mil your million dollar one person business tech stack, an email driven info slash consulting business. This is what I use. I hope you found this useful. Take what you want, do some research. The important thing to remember is that it's not about the tool, it's knowing how to use it. So the strategy and implementation of the tools into your business and what you're using it for. That's the important part. So if you wanna ask a question for the next AMA, go to emailrainmaker.com. There's gonna be a post. There should also be like a form below this video where you can submit a question and I'll pick the best ones of the week. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next AMA.